Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update on Selenium with respect to Chrome version 1.1.1. So if you see my browser here, this is a Chrome browser. And if you quickly check the Chrome version, let's see about Google Chrome. And my Chrome version got updated to 111. You can see that the version is 111.x. So you must be facing some issue with respect to a Chrome launching with Selenium. For example, let's say this is what my Selenium code that I'm going to write. And in my formed XML file, I have updated to 4.8.1. That is the latest version of Selenium. So I'll do one thing. I quickly check that do I have any updates on Selenium 4.8.1 after that? So let's see, this is Selenium Java dependency with Maven. And that is the last version. So I'm using the latest version only 4.8.1. And now I'm going to write a code here. So let's quickly launch only Google Chrome with web driver is equal to new Chrome driver, right? And then I'm writing driver.get and let's see, I'm entering a URL HTTPS colon double slash, let's see www.simplegoogle.com. And then just try to land it. And uh, I'll do one thing. Let me just quickly print driver.get title also here and once you get the title and then after that you simply write driver dot uh, quit here that's it a super simple script but let's see is it really working or not with chrome browser 111 so chrome is getting launched and but after that it's not entering any url here what is the issue and you are getting some issue like io exception and then websocket handler dot java it's giving some exception but these are the Updates in the async HTTP client and maybe Selenium guys, they have not tested it properly with the latest version of uh, uh, Chrome. So how to fix this problem? Because the moment you upgrade it, you are getting connection failed exception, unable to establish WebSocket connection to your uh, Chrome driver server that is running in the background, right? So Firefox and everything is working fine, but uh, with Chrome, it's not able to enter the URL. In fact, just launching the browser, that's it, but it's not entering anything after that. So how to fix this problem? So the problem with the WebSocket implementation with the HTTP client is that it's not able to understand that the request is coming from which origin. So explicitly we have to add it. So this is just a simple hack that I'm going to tell you. What you do, you must have heard about Chrome options and then you simply search for, uh, let me just try with the remote origin just check with the remote origin. We can just add one switch here, this one. Remote allow origins. It's saying enables WebSocket connections from the specified origins only star allows any origin. It means, origin means the request is coming from which uh, client or which origin. So that's what you are getting a WebSocket issue here that not able to uh, connect with this uh, server, not able to establish the connection and there's some WebSocket handler.java, you are getting some exception here. So what I do to fix this problem, I quickly create the object of Chrome options. So let's create that Chrome options. CO is equal to new Chrome options. Okay. Let me import that. And then we just need to add with CO dot add arguments and add this particular argument with hyphen hyphen uh, switch. So whatever the switch is there, just remote allow origins. So let me just copy if I can copy it from here. Let me just copy from here to here and uh, paste it here. Okay. And then you have to pass the CO reference in the constructor of the new Chrome driver here that we are creating the object of Chrome driver and pass it over here. And then let's run it. So let's do one thing. Let me just close the previous browser. And now I'm going to launch it again. So when you try to run it, now it's entering. Okay, let's do one thing. This is still not picking it up. <clears throat> oh, we have to write remote allow origins and see it's saying only star allows any origin. So what we have to do, let's try it only star allow. So it's equal to star, okay, equal to the wildcard. Now let's run it again. This time it should pick fine. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. So you can see that it's printing Google and everything is fine. So just let's run it again without driver.quit and uh, run as Java application once again. So here you can see that yes, it's entering google.com. It's absolutely working fine here, right? So make sure that, okay, if you have upgraded your 
version to this the latest version chrome 111 then you have to use this particular hack or you just wait for 482 let's see in 482 they might fix this particular problem then in that case you don't need to add this argument but now if you are really struggling with that you have to add it otherwise you just downgrade your chrome browser version to 110 110 that you can use it here instead of 111 okay so that's it the simple thing only for chrome browser for firefox safari for edge browser for other browsers there is no issues absolutely working fine so this is just a simple update that really want to give it to you make sure that remote allow origin is equal to star that you have to write otherwise because you have to give the explicit value that uh, see this enables websocket connection from the specified origins only and the star allows any origin it means the request is coming from any client or any request or any or any uh, specific uh, origin client that we are giving so just make sure that okay you're giving is equal to star here and that's it so that's all for this video please share it with others who are struggling with this uh, problem let me know in case of any issues i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all